What if you could build an AI that helps you cheat on job interviews and ace them? That's exactly what a university student named Roy tried to build when he was preparing for Amazon's notoriously tough interviews. And guess what? It actually worked. His tool got him noticed. His story blew up online, and suddenly, Roy was being hailed as a genius. But things weren't so bright on his own campus. Instead of being celebrated, he was punished. In fact, the university went so far as to kick him out. However, that twist of fate became the foundation for something much bigger waiting for him. Cluely, a startup that not only raised millions, but also changed the way students and professionals think about AI. So in the next few minutes, we'll share the captivating story of Roy Lee, a guy whose curiosity and drive first got him into trouble, but ultimately built the foundation for his success. To understand the story of Cluley, you first have to understand the world Roy Lee came from. He was a computer science student at a university renowned for its demanding tech program. The kind of place that consistently ranks alongside institutions like MIT and Carnegie Mellon. Roy wasn't just a good student, he was a builder. Someone who saw coding as a way to solve puzzles, not just pass exams. He was driven by a frustration with inefficiency, and he was about to face one of the most inefficient processes in the modern job market, the technical interview for a top tech company. He was aiming for a coveted internship at Amazon, a goal shared by thousands of his peers. But preparing for these interviews, he quickly realized, had little to do with the creative, complex problem-solving he loved in his classes. Instead, it was a grueling, repetitive game of memorization. The process for getting into a Fiang company involves solving hundreds of specific algorithm-style questions, often found on platforms like LeetCode. It felt less like a test of engineering talent and more like a high-stakes trivia contest. Instead of spending hundreds of hours grinding through these problems the traditional way, Roy asked a different question. What if he could build a better system? He saw the interview process itself as a predictable machine, and he decided he would build his own machine to beat it. And so, he fed a custom AI model with hundreds of publicly available coding challenges and their optimal solutions. He trained it not just to provide answers, but to identify the underlying patterns in the questions themselves. The result was a prototype for an AI-powered co-pilot. It wasn't a simple cheat sheet. It was an intelligent assistant designed to provide real-time guidance during a live interview. The moment of truth arrived during his remote video interview with Amazon. When the interviewer posed a complex algorithmic challenge, Roy's tool listened in and instantly identified the problem. It didn't give him the answer, but it acted as a guide much like how modern AI interview tools offer real-time suggestions. And it worked. He passed the interview with flying colors. The success was a personal victory, but the story was too good to keep to himself. He was very young, and it makes sense how he pulled out his excitement of doing something remarkable. He told a few friends, who then told others. Soon, the tale was spreading across campus forums and eventually made its way to LinkedIn. The narrative was compelling. A brilliant student had built an AI that outsmarted Amazon's legendary hiring process. It was a classic David and Goliath story for the digital age, and it went viral. This organic buzz was the first sign that Roy had built something people were genuinely excited about, a key ingredient for attracting future investors. However, this viral success came at a steep price. The university administration caught wind of the story and launched an investigation. From their perspective, Roy hadn't innovated. He had cheated. His tool was a clear violation of academic integrity policies, which strictly forbid the use of unauthorized assistance 
and passing off AI-generated work as one's own. Universities across the country were grappling with the rise of AI, with many adopting strict policies against its use in academic-related assessments. Despite Roy's arguments that the interview was a corporate assessment, not a university exam, the institution saw it as a fundamental breach of conduct. They made an example of him, and he was expelled. The news was crushing. For a moment, it felt like a total failure. The institution he had worked so hard to get into had cast him out. But as the initial shock wore off, a new realization set in. Roy realized the problem he had solved for himself was one faced by countless students and professionals worldwide. The stress, the inefficiency, the anxiety of technical interview prep was a universal pain point. He decided to turn his personal project into a platform for everyone, a journey similar to how many successful companies like Google and Airbnb started as projects to solve a founder's own problem. He named it Cluely. Cluely wouldn't be about cheating the system, but about leveling the playing field. It would help users prepare smarter, build real confidence, and perform at their best when it mattered most. This mission-driven approach is common among edtech founders who aim to solve systemic problems in education and training. His first step was to build a team. He used a platform, much like Y Combinator's co-founder Matching, to find a partner with the business acumen to complement his technical skills. Together, they refined the prototype, built a clean user interface, and launched a beta version to a small group of users. And that's when the investors started to notice. The viral story of his expulsion was the perfect hook. Venture capitalists are constantly searching for compelling narratives, and Roy's story was unforgettable. The brilliant student kicked out for building an AI that beat Amazon. The story demonstrated not just technical skill, but also the kind of piratical gleam and rule-breaking ingenuity that is common among the most successful founders. The expulsion served as undeniable proof that his product worked. He was accepted into a prestigious accelerator program, which provided initial seed funding and critical mentorship. That seed money allowed him to scale the platform and lead to a multi-million dollar Series A funding round. Today, Cluely is far more than just an interview co-pilot. It has evolved into a comprehensive career services platform. It offers an AI-powered resume builder, mock interview simulations that provide feedback on everything from answer quality to speaking pace and eye contact, and personalized learning plans, features that compete with established players in the AI hiring space. Through this entire journey, Roy Lee has developed a clear philosophy. He sees every setback not as a failure, but as a data point. For him, getting expelled wasn't a rejection. It was the market telling him his product was too powerful to be ignored. This mindset of turning obstacles into stepping stones is the essence of entrepreneurial resilience. He believes that you have to be relentless in your pursuit of a goal, but ready to change your path when a better one reveals itself. On the topic of technology, Roy argues that AI is not here to replace people, but to augment them, to make them better. He believes the future of education and career development lies not in rigid, one-size-fits-all institutions, but in personalized, AI-driven learning that values skills over credentials. His message to other aspiring founders is simple. Question the systems you are a part of. If a process is broken or inefficient, don't just learn to live with it. Build something better. The greatest risk isn't in breaking the rules, but in failing to challenge them. Roy Lee's journey has come full circle. The only question now is, with millions in funding and a growing team of believers, what system will Roy Lee and Cluely disrupt next? Share your thoughts in the comments below.
and let us know which brand story you want to hear in our next video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.